here with Nicolas, this Espanol, a Spaniard. Hello, Ole! And, uh, and his friend as well, Alejandro, who's our cameraman. Ole! Very good and really, really and good. And Giorgio, he's from Pisa. You know that leaning tower that goes like this? From that place where the leaning tower's from. Anyway, I got talking to these guys in the Margaret River Library, and Nicola told me that he is a master of. Paella. First thing I want to get out of the way, very first thing I want to get out of the way, people say it's not paella, it's paella. It's paella. What is it? How have you pronounce it? Well, we, say, we say paella. We say paella. Can you just slow it? Really slow? Paella. Paella. Padino paella. Okay, you see, we have great tomato, we have some red capsicum, we're going to fry it first, and then we're going to put it on top. We have really small minced garlic. Small means capsicum, and then we're going to chop the parsley. Okay, we have uh, some prawns, we have the here the crayfish, we have some beautiful mussels. So, here with these shells, when I work with restaurants, especially the Michelin star restaurants, I always notice they roast their shells. And once you roast the shells, it's like roasting bones when you make like a brown stock. Just the flavor yeah. comes out. Back to Nicola. Sorry, dude. Back, we have here the red peppers that we're going to put on top to decorate. We have fried them with olive oil. And now here we have the small pieces. It's swimming in olive oil, but don't worry, olive oil is so good. It's so healthy. Okay, we put the catsing on the side. We have fried the garlic, the parsley, and now we add the tomato. And all the water of the tomato has to go out. So, in other words, you're doing a reduction. You're reducing yeah, we, the amount yeah, of liquid in the it. pan. Yeah, so, just in, we have reduced it. It was all over and now we have this. I've made myself a tea. I've been drinking this tea. It's fresh mint leaves, loads of fresh mint leaves, lemon zest, big strips of lemon, and chili and caper lime leaf. And it is the best tea ever. Nothing to do with paella. Yeah. That's your stock from your mussels. Yeah. That's it there, okay? So you've really, you've sauteed this off, but it's almost roasted. Is it just me, Alejandro, Giorgio? Can you smell that? Does it smell yeah. roasted? Yeah. Okay, so now we've roasted our crayfish shell. Nicola, smell that, smell that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel it. Do, do you smell the roasted, mm. do you smell you the roasted flavor? So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna crush the shells. The only reason why I'm crushing the shells is so it doesn't stuff up the food processor. That's all. If I throw those in in big bits, the food processor is actually not going to take it. And if you're wondering what special utensil I'm using, this is on my weight belt. It's got my dive belt. Okay. We're going in. Boy, you, you man, this smells so good. Alright, this is epic. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like that. This is going to be good, guys. But all this flavor that we're getting here, it's so at the end of the day. At the end of the day, yeah. what we've done is we've made an extremely strong roasted shell seafood stock. That's what we've done. Yes. This is Alejandro. In Italian right. we say Alessandro yeah. and in English Alexander, right? Yes. Alexander. Alexander works at a pizzeria just up the Cape, closer towards Yelling Up. He's, he bought this with him and it's called Schiacciata. And I haven't heard that for ages. It's actually Sicilian dialect. Mm -hmm. Schiacciata. And Schiacciata, what does it mean? It's like a, a squash. Sort of like, it's like a squash squ squashed, yeah. squished. Squished. And so that's what it is, hey? So what we're doing is we're just sieving the stock a second time because we don't want any shells in there at all, do we? No, please. And um, we, we still have some. you've got the you've got the heat on nice and hot. Yeah. So what you're going to tip all that in there now? Let's go for it. All right, now tip the. The rest color of already is amazing. Okay. And all now, right. Valencia, Valencia will use it a lot. A lot of people. I like, like that. I could speak Spanish. Look, watch, Valencia. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? 
Is it, and this is another one. You know how before I said, how do you pronounce paella properly? Yeah. Yeah, chorizo, we say here. Yeah. Chorizo? Ah, we oh, chorizo here. Right? No, no, but is it chorizo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it chorizo? Mm. Chorizo, chorizo. It's with a th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do now it's put all the rice all over and now we're going to put all something on top doesn't need to be another paella and now we put the, the lid on low so it's basically has to boil as minimal as possible so it's basically the absorption method like you do other rice yeah okay the so rice needs to cook for about 18 minutes right oh God, right, right. <laughs> so just for the record so just for the record one cup of rice, two cups of stock, plus a little bit more. Make sure you've got a lid on. If you don't have a lid on, three to one. One cup of rice, three cups of stock, plus a little bit more, and roughly about 18 minutes of cooking time on the lowest heat. Guys, this has been cooking for 16 minutes, and now we're going to put the crayfish on top. So it will cook just with the remaining hot and the two minutes that we're going to cook it extra. And Alejandro, if you want to help me, brother. So how did you guys meet? How did you guys meet up? Tra did you guys travel together from Spain or you met here in Margaret River? We met in Bali. In Bali? Yes. No, don't tell me like over a paella. No, we met uh, him actually in Pechatu. In uh, and what, you guys were both surfing in Bali? Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. I bet you wish you were over there instead of freezing cold Margaret River, huh? I'm partying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> really, a lot of partying. A lot of partying in Bali, huh? All right, ragazzi, what do you think? Beautiful paella. Amazing. Are you happy with your paella? I'm very happy. Are you happy with your paella? Happy. Really good. Let's see tonight this paella. This is my second serving, <laughs> and I'm going to go for a third one. The seafood stock in this is so clean. It's not overpowering. It is absolutely incredible. If you make this seafood, this seafood dish, you're going to charm people. It is absolutely incredible. Nicola, Alejandro, Giorgio, I cannot thank you guys enough for coming here tonight. This is my second plate, but I'm going to go for three. Like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff that you got to do to make YouTube work, you know. Thank you so much. Bye. Adis, beauty. <laughs> all right. Olé!